Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's take a look at Stellar, the cryptocurrency versus the dollar. And we can see that right now it is doing its best to break out above the buy point on the monthly chart. And the buy point is based on the prior closing high going back here on a monthly closing basis. The level to watch there is the stock now needs to defend and stay above 0 0.0332. So as long as it is holding above that level, it might have a chance of recording higher prices. Now I must say here that it needs also to push the RSI on the monthly above 69.1. Right now it's trading at 68, 69.1. Right now it's trading at 68.87. So the RSI does need to move above 69.1 if the stock is to see higher prices. If we take a look at the MACDs, MACDs are acting as they should for a good quality breakout. We are trading at, if not close to, all-time highs on the MACD. So the MACDs are good, trading at three-year highs plus. The only thing here is the RSI. On, and again, this is the stellar cryptocurrency versus the dollar. Which means we can take a look at the stellar versus Bitcoin. So let's do that. And here what I can see if the stellar versus the dollar, if it can break out and hold, if the monthly RSI can hold above 69.1, here's a chance for this instrument also to move higher. So both of them can move higher. We can see here it's coming back to test the prior breakout level on the monthly chart. And again here, we're anticipating that if it can hold and stay above the current levels on the monthly, Chances are also it is bouncing back above RSI 50 with uniform activity. Again, this is something that we, we know takes, takes place when a stock is bouncing. In other words, we can also see that this was the breakout somewhere there. And the stock has already come back to test that breakout level with uniform action. More on this, there should be some links in the description of the video explaining this method. And don't forget, this is also bouncing at the RSI 50 level here. So it looks like a rebound candidate. And this is for Stellar versus Bitcoin. But the main takeaway here is for the main instrument, the one that has more volume, I believe maybe more volume or similar volume. And it is for Stellar versus the dollar. And the buy point again is 0 0.3332. And it needs to hold above that. RSI on the monthly. The main thing here, RSI does need to move above 69.1. Otherwise, this is not going to play to the upside. Now, I have to say I was a little bit concerned by this loss of gains here. It's not good. You always want to see an instrument that holds on to gains. So I was a little bit concerned about this loss of gains. But I took a look at the weekly. And the weekly you can see also. There is the same loss of gains here. And also we failed to follow through. So after this big movement here, there was failure to follow through. So that was concerning. But if you take a look at the daily chart, daily chart shows that the stock did follow through on the daily during that move. We had day one to the upside and day two was also to the upside. So because the daily chart did show a follow through, we can still consider this a good candidate on the monthly if it can break out as we've discussed here and again one more time the buy point is 0 0.0332 and the RSI for sure does need to move above 69.1 ericmwadithmother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a